If you've been charged with drunk driving in the Pittsfield Township 14A1 District Court, your judge will be Judge Richard Conlon. Uh, drunk driving cases handled in the 14A1 District Court have two different prosecutors. The first prosecutor is the Washington County Prosecutor's Office. The second prosecutor is the Pittsfield Township Prosecutor. Now the prosecutor will be determined by the police department involved in your case and the level of charges. For example, if the Pittsfield Township Police Department is the arresting agency, the case is likely to go to the Pittsfield Township Prosecutor. If the police department is the Washington County Sheriff's Office, Michigan State Police, or University of Michigan Police Department, the prosecutor will likely be the State of Michigan, which would be the Washington County Prosecutor's Office. Now what I've done is I've put a book together, the Ann Arbor Criminal Defense Playbook. It's a comprehensive guide to Washington County. The book is available on Amazon.com. What this book does is it breaks down my proactive program for tackling a number of drunk driving charges. Uh, different charges in Washington County are a first offense, uh, a second offense, a third offense, and we also have what's called a super drunk. All different charges have different sanctions on your driver's license and different mandatory jail sentences. For example, a second offense drunk driving in Washington County has a five day mandatory jail sentence. A third offense has a 30 day minimum jail sentence. It's important for my clients to understand the consequences that come with a drunk driving charge. Now what do we do for a client who's charged with drunk driving? Well the first thing we do is we change the perception of your case. From day one, the prosecutor, the judge, the police department, and your community are labeling you a dangerous drunk driver. Someone who was arrested for being above the legal limit uh, and putting the citizens of Pittsfield Township in grave danger. Now what we do is we change that perception. It's our goal to show that you're a good person in an isolated situation. Someone who's a law-abiding citizen who's a positive impact on the community simply found themselves in a bad situation. Now being charged with a crime doesn't mean you're guilty of a crime, but it's close to it. In my experience as a former prosecutor, the prosecutor and the judge just assume that you're likely guilty and you're likely going to plead guilty because you are guilty. The evidence is overwhelming. What we do is we break down this evidence. We look at the audio, the video, the testing results, the interaction with the police department, any statements made. We look for possible defenses at trial for a not guilty verdict. We also look for different motions to file in order to suppress evidence. If we're able to suppress evidence, we'll be able to get your case dismissed. Now another path is the path of negotiation. Clients come to me and say, Jonathan, my goals are to keep my driver's license, to have my case reduced, to have my license remain in place. If we set goals, we may be able to accomplish those goals, but it will take a proactive effort from day one. What we do is we educate ourselves about alcohol use. What we do is we do a substance abuse evaluation to see if there's any lingering issues. If there are, we undergo treatment. This arrest and charge may be an opportunity to improve your life. Now your case may ultimately be dismissed or it may have a not guilty verdict at trial, but it's an opportunity to reassess your relationship with alcohol. If there's a lingering issue, we will tackle that. We also do AA meetings. We want you to learn from others who may be in a worse situation than you are. Being charged with drunk driving in Pittsfield Township is something that many people have been through. Some people's second offenses, third offenses, sometimes felonies. For a first offender, it's important to learn from others, to learn what the path looks like if you continue down this road. So I'm always looking out for my client's future and the next decision they'll make. The reason why I do that is the prosecutor and the judge are also thinking that way. Where is this person going in life? What will their next decision be? Should this person be someone who has a driver's license, have the freedom uh, to remain out of jail? So we're anticipating what everyone's thinking and putting a plan into place. So I'm very selective in the clients that I take on uh, for Pittsfield Township drunk driving cases, but I'm happy to hear more about you and about your case as we make a decision if we're going to work together.